The wood chips are transported from the bottom of the chip silo on a conveyor belt, bringing the chips into the TMP plant. The first step when the chips reach the TMP plant is a steam bin, where they are exposed to hot steam. The steam heats the wood and evens out the moisture content in the chips. The chips are then transported to a chip washer, where stones and twig nuts are removed. High quality chips float to the surface in the vat and a paddle wheel pushes them over into a pumping bin. From there, water is used to transport the chips to dewatering screws that separate the chips from the water. The chips are then heated with steam again. Warm chips are easy to separate in the refiners since the lignin that binds the wood fibres together is softened by the heat. The refiner mechanically separates the wood fibres in a two-step process. The chips are fed into a narrow gap between a static disc and a rotating disc, where the fibres are separated under high pressure. The rotating disc moves at around 1500 RPM and the high speed pushes the chips through grooves in the discs. In the refiner, the water in the wood chips vaporises due to the heat and high pressure. The steam is harvested at the top of the cyclone, while a screw guides the fibres into another plug screw feeder and to the second refining step. After refining, the pulp is screened to remove fibres that have not been separated properly. The rejected fibres are given a second chance in a reject refiner. After screening, the pulp is stored in storage silos, awaiting the next step of the process. Pulster silos can hold up to 4,000 cubic metres of pulp, which is enough for 8 to 16 hours of paper production. The pulp is delivered to the bleaching plant, where water is removed in a dewatering process. The dewatering press works similarly to a paper machine. The wet pulp is led onto cylinders with blankets that remove the water. The dry pulp is then transported by a screw conveyor to a small refiner where the bleaching chemicals are added. The mix of bleaching chemicals and pulp is pumped to a bleaching tower where the chemicals and pulp react for a specific period of time. The bleached pulp is transported via screw conveyor from the bottom of the bleaching tower to a vat where water is added to wash out the bleaching chemicals. The water and bleaching chemicals are removed from the pulp by dewatering as seen before. Pulp is soaked and dewatered twice to ensure that all bleaching chemicals have been removed. The chemicals are harvested for reuse and the pulp is sent to a storage silo, awaiting use in the paper machine.
The storage silos can hold up to 8,000 cubic meters of finished paper pulp, which is enough for eight hours of paper production 